February is Black History Month, and this month we're honoring those who have paved the way in our community, including an Atlanta political leader. Marvin Erickson Sr. was one of the founding fathers of, of Atlanta, of modern Atlanta. We all know the story of Dr. Martin Luther King and so many other civil rights leaders who've called Atlanta home, but for us in Atlanta, we have to remember that Marvin's name has to be called in that same way. And Marvin fought the fight. He was one of the major players, the barrier breaker. He built one of the largest African-American firms here in the United States, and nobody gave him anything. Huh. All right, that's part of the new documentary now available uh, on all, all your streaming platforms. It's called Bowlegs. And joining us in studio is Adeline Gasana, the filmmaker behind that film. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Also. Man, that is some, those are some pretty uh, powerful words describing <laughs> Marvin, to, Marvin Arrington Sr., yes. right? Yes, yes, yes. Um, living legend, um, and for somebody to impact the Atlanta community from really three decades strong. Um, and then, of course, you see a generation of folks who will uh, sign off on that. And it was a beautiful thing. Um, we, we've gotten every interview we wanted. Um, there was no roadblocks with that. It took you two years to make this movie. Yes. Why two years? <laughs> oh, wow. Um, I originally came in to do archival research. Uh -huh. um, and with the documentary, um, the, the kind of the behind the scenes of the documentary work with night is you have to kind of excavate a dig, if you will, especially with historic pieces like this. And so here I am doing all the lake work. I went to Atlanta History Center, Woodruff Library, Emory University. I scoured all the old television footage, even the AJC um, headline articles. And lo and behold, it was all this material. And, but you know, that takes a process and whatnot, and of course the licensing aspect. And then we go out and we have to interview a number of individuals who can speak on different parts of his life. That's interesting, because you've done, you've done a number of films over your career. This is the first documentary that's a biographical yes. documentary that you've done. Yes. Were you surprised, because we hear, you know, we hear the big names. We hear about Andrew Young, Martin Luther King Jr., yeah. we hear John Lewis. But we don't hear about Marvin Arrington Sr. Right. Were you surprised by that? Um, and, by and, what you learned? Oh, absolutely. Um, you know, I, I was the archival researcher for the Maynard Jackson documentary, and that's how I was recruited uh -huh. to, do, do, to do this documentary. And what's interesting is that I, I was actually doubtful, just like you. I was like, I didn't really hear about them. I don't know if there's enough material, because I'm thinking visual when right. I think documentary. And then there it was. I did this research, and I came back to the executive producer and the producing team and said, we got more than what we need for a documentary. And we just started, we, 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 went, we went at it. And a biographical piece like this, I and mean, one of the things people get when they watch this um, film, and this is the feedback we get, is that they learn so much about Atlanta. Yeah. And one of the things I say about Marvin Arrington Sr.'s story is that um, no other story parallels so harmoniously with the growth and evolution of Atlanta. Now, think of Atlanta back in the 1940s when he was born. Right. So he was a Grady baby. Grady baby. Grady up, housing. Housing projects. Right. right. Grew up in the bluff. And that was a segregated town. Right. Um, it was a provincial town in the deep south. And by the time he's done with his political career, it's an international city. And a lot of what he's done behind the scenes, working with, like you said, the Andrew Youngs, the Maynard Jacksons, and right. all the other stalwarts, to continue the Martin Luther King legacy in the post-civil rights moment. Mm -hmm. You mentioned the Grady, <clears throat> Grady Hospital, the Grady Projects, the yeah. Bluffs, which a lot of people even yeah. know today as a not so good area mm -hmm. of Atlanta, right. to go on to Emory Law School, school. to become an integrated, integrated. In that's Emory correct, University he was a, that's right. Yeah. And then to uh, now be a judge appointed yes. by uh, yes. former Governor Barnes. Barnes. That's right. So why haven't we heard much about him and from him? Well, he, um, he's, he's the youngest city council member in Atlanta's history, still stays to this day. He's the longest serving city council president for, for 17 years. So his work in city government was 27 years strong. Um, he's the kind of, most of the, most of the figures at that stage, at that level, mm -hmm. is behind the scenes folks. They're crafting legislation. So you think of some of his impact. MARTA has his name written all over it. Um, the, Atlanta, uh, the Atlanta airport, when it went from this small regional airport to the busiest, largest yes. airport in. A lot of his, his work and his doing and putting the right pieces in place, businesses, um, um, permits, and that kind of thing. And then finally bringing the Olympics to Atlanta. Um, it's those folks behind the scenes that really doesn't get the shine because they don't have the mayor title sometimes. That's right. Um, but they're the ones really behind the scenes 
pushing in again. He was doing that leg work, right? Yes. Leg work, bow legs. <laughs> so let's talk about yeah. it because I, you know immediately you go bow legs. What the heck? <laughs> what are you talking about? Where, where did that name come from? Um, that's his lifelong nickname. Uh -huh. um, he had it since high school because he was bow legged. Um, <laughs> and it's interesting enough, he's still with us too, by the way. Yes, he um, is. Living legend, and he um, the the title bow legs is you know him being bow legged. Um, that's how he's known. Mm -hmm. They don't even call him Marvin. They don't even call him Marvin Arrington <laughs> or Mr. Arrington. They call him, hey, Bo. Hey, hey Bo, Bo Legs. Okay. Uh, and and so, he's okay with that. No, it's a term of endearment. <laughs> loves the, loves the um, um, term. The nickname. And, and, nickname. Yeah. and it, it went from his legend as a HBCU grad, uh, a f star football player, en route to um, his, his legal profession and becoming a lawyer. Okay, let me ask you this real quickly before we let you go, because it's one thing to make a uh, biographical documentary on someone that has passed on, yeah. but it's another to make it about somebody yeah. who is still with us. Right. Were you nervous about what he would think about your film? And what does he think? Um, I th he likes it. Um, okay. he, I think he's, a, he's, he's blown away by the sheer magnitude of taking his 40 year impactful story into a two hour documentary. Um, the, the real nervous, it wasn't less nervousness, but it's really, it, it was timely. Okay. To give these people their commemoration while they're still with us, mm -hmm. and give them their flowers, and let them know the contribution they made. And um, of course, being on Delta Airlines for our six month run really elevated the status of the documentary. Mm -hmm. And it, again, it shows you why these stories need to be told. That's and right. And why Marvin Anthony's story is so special for Atlanta. All right. You still got it, Bo. That's what we can say. <laughs> That's awesome. Great. Thank you so much Thank for joining you. us to share that. And you know what? If you missed any of this interview, we're going to post it online. We've got a ton of content, too, honoring Black History Month on the Atlanta News First website. And also, you're going to have screenings of this film yes. over the next yes. few days. So yes, go to we our have, website. We have we'll Black be able to. For Black History Month, February, we have over 10 screenings okay. in Metro Atlanta. All that information is on, on our website. Yeah. Just go check it out. Thank very, you. very good. All